Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we're at Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. And today we are going backstage for the Caring for Giants tour right here at Animal Kingdom. We're gonna go get up close and personal with those elephants. It's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. Stick around, you don't wanna miss it. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. Let's go. So like we said, we're here at Animal Kingdom, so we're excited to be here. Uh, as you guys know, we love an animal on this show. Uh, I think Lewis is maybe not as excited about it as I am, but we're both very excited because I think of the two, I'm definitely the more animal lover. What are you talking about? I'm super excited. I'm stoked. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're coming to be here. Um, it is about an hour tour, and where you check in is all the way at the back of the park by Kilimanjaro Safari, and it's right here over my shoulder. All right, let's see some water. And as always, guys, with the tours here at Disney World, we are going backstage and there is no filming allowed backstage, so I'm super sorry about that. But we're gonna go backstage here. I think we're gonna get on a bus. And we're gonna take that over to around the elephant area. Once we get back to the elephant area, we can start filming then and we'll fill you in on what we missed at the end of the tour. All right, let's go. So we just, so we just checked in, we got our name tags. Uh, and then we're gonna head over here uh, behind that door and then we're gonna be, get on the bus. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, let's stand over here. All right, guys, so for some wayfinding here, so we are in um, a front stage area, but back behind here is where we took the private uh, van to come up this way, and then the bull elephant pen is back there, and this is the main part of the safari track. We can see one of the safari vehicles right there. But the different yards that we have here, so over here where we're seeing the boys is the bull yard. Um, just because where the boys are at most of the time, the matriarchal groups, um, the Donna and the Boshas. There's a reason. Donna and Basha cannot stand the side of each other. <laughs> um, it is it is drama when they see each other. Mm. So we have to be very strategic about who goes where. Is it like mm. real high flags with them? It is. So um, we did have one big old matriarch society uh, because the matriarch at the time was Miss Rafiki. Um, Rafiki was a very old elephant though, so she did pass away um, a few years ago. And once that happened, it was up to either Donna or Basha to step up as the next oldest elephant of who was going to be the matriarch. And instead of either of them stepping up, they both went their own ways. Mm. Ooh, look at that elephant butt. <laughs> so here we have a cutaway of an elephant's foot. They said that this big pad here works as a kind of like Dr. Scholl's and make sure that they uh, can help support the weight, but also too that it's instrumental in helping them find water underground that Apparently they can feel the vibrations or something along those lines, and that's how they find water. Bye, Luna. We'll see you later. So she was telling us that all the trees around the uh, elephant habitat have rocks uh, in the shape of a ring to protect the trees. And it, obviously the trees provide shade, but they also grow the hay in the gnat, so the elephants have to do some exercise to get the uh, to lunch. I like watching her get the hay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Yeah, there's minnows back there. But where he's uh, free, but it's not. I'm that the screw here uh, is to, because of the baby spring bok, um, and it's to kind of protect them from the opportunity of the elephant scaring them, or maybe the, uh, the jeep scaring them. All right guys, so wrapping up our time here, uh, hanging out with Luna the elephant and with Mac. Um, so we're gonna hop back on the bus, and the next time you see us, we'll be back in Animal Kingdom. Let's go. A few moments later. Oh my gosh, you guys, Mac went awesome. Super enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna see some elephants. Gotta learn some fun facts about them, so we're gonna tell you all about them right now, as soon as we can find a sort of quiet place. It is a busy day here at Animal Kingdom, for sure. All right, babe, what'd you think? Yes, yeah, so that was super cool. So we went back around that gate that we showed you and uh, then we just walked a little short ways, got on a bus. And while we're on the bus, kind of going to the back of the elephant exhibit, they kind of did show us around a little bit. Like I so said, we were unable to film that. So we just want to kind of fill you guys in. Uh, we did drive by what is like a, like a farm area. They said they have like 94 acres worth of farm orchard, orchards back there where they're actually growing the food here on site for all the, all the herbivores. Uh, and that also too, they, I thought it was kind of interesting was when you go to Living with the Land and they have all those uh, tilapia, they said whatever, the, the, whatever tilapia fish they don't sell in the restaurant, mm -hmm. they actually do help supplement uh, the diets of the animals here mm -hmm. 
uh, in Animal Kingdom with those extra tilapia as yeah. well. Specifically the crocodiles, they said. Yeah, so mm -hmm. nothing is nothing goes away. Super good on the conservation. Mm -hmm. um, we learned a couple things about the elephants in particular, yeah. although you know, we only saw a handful of elephants mm -hmm. while we were there. So uh, upon driving in, obviously we weren't able to film anything, but we did pass um, the elephants barn and then behind that was the bullpen. So I'll put some shots here where we saw two of the three bull elephants that Animal Kingdom has. Um, she said it was Mac, and I don't remember the other one's name. So Mac is, yeah, how, right. how big is so Mac? So Mac is 14,000 pounds, he's huge. Yeah, big boy. Yeah, yeah. and they said he's so, so tall that they try to get him to exercise, but they can't hang the hay high enough in any of the trees mm -hmm. that it makes him exercise. He's just yeah. so easily gets it all. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so Mac is kind of like the ruler of the, of the boys club here. Uh, although typical, I guess, elephants out in the wild tend to be kind of on their own if they're males. Mm -hmm. They do have two matriarchs, matriarchal societies here mm -hmm. at Animal Kingdom. Uh, one is Donna and mm -hmm. one is Bosch. And apparently the two of them do not get along no. very well. They used to be part of the same crew yeah. underneath a underneath a mother elephant. That mm -hmm. mother elephant has since passed away. Yep. And so now it's like street gangs out there. The two of them like, Urgh. Very Games of Thrones -y, so. <laughs> <laughs> House of the Dragon, I guess. I'm House of the Elephant. <laughs> I'm just picturing like, I don't know, Grease Lightning or what was the... No, the American shop. Graffiti. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's super interesting, getting all the hot drama tips mm -hmm. from the elephants. So when we were driving over, uh, yeah. Cheyenne, our tour guide, super awesome, so knowledgeable, uh, was just kind of telling us about some of the fun facts about um, you know, the elephants and things like that. Then once we actually got parked, we walked up a very accessible ramp. So if you uh, are, yeah, so if you're in a mobility device or a wheelchair, you definitely can still do this one. And we learned that Disney here has three AZA accredited zoos and aquarium, two zoos, one here at Animal Kingdom and one over at Animal Kingdom Lodge, yeah. as well as an aquarium over at Epcot. Mm -hmm. And we also learned that there are, you know, obviously everyone knows about the African and Asia species of elephants. Mm -hmm. There are two subspecies of African elephants, the forest and savanna subspecies. Yeah. And Apparently so, that's a hot debate amongst scientists yeah. that there really is two subspecies. So we're giving you breaking news, breaking scientific news. Who knew? They're, they're <laughs> trying to figure out if that's uh, yeah. if those are different species themselves. So definitely learned a lot about elephants on our tours. Yeah. I thought that was super cool. We got to get into a special place where like you can't get there any other way other than mm -hmm. booking this tour. Mm -hmm. And really this tour was relatively affordable, yeah. about $35 per person mm -hmm. as far you know, as far as Disney goes for extra yeah. tours. That's really on the cheaper end. So mm -hmm. glad did we get to experience something like that, something yeah. unique and didn't break the bank. Yeah. Now one watch out is you are not going to be up close and personal with the elephants. You're gonna be about maybe anywhere from 60 to maybe 100 feet-ish away. So don't think you're gonna be actually in the barn feeding or scooping poops. Right. It's more just a, hey, here's a backstage opportunity to be a little bit closer than you would maybe on Kilo Girl Safaris. But if you do wanna get super close to elephants, check out our videos linked below yes. where we went to Thailand. We actually get to feed the elephants, we get to <laughs> bathe the elephants, we get to swim with the elephants. That was insane. They're huge and you're in the river swimming yeah. with them. So definitely check that out. And if you get, uh, if, if your budget allows, I highly recommend you go to Thailand yeah. and check that out too. Yeah, I would say uh, a week in Thailand is probably half the cost of, a, of most Disney vacations. So you probably could swing it. Yeah, so. it's, it's pretty affordable once you get there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but with that being said, um, definitely enjoyed it. I think for 35 bucks a person, you can't beat it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. an hour tour. So if you're an annual yeah. pass holder, or maybe you're like, hey, my, my kids really enjoy elephants. What can we do that's kind of exclusive? 35 bucks is definitely yeah. a win here at, at Disney right. for sure. And they did say all the, the extra proceeds from this tour do mm -hmm. go directly to elephant con um, conservation. Yep. Um, yeah, and with it being an hour tour, honestly, I thought it was, I was expecting it to be longer. Mm -hmm. So I was a little disappointed on that end that we only kind of made one stop and kind of saw one view. Mm -hmm. um, but also, if you're have you have a busy day, you can easily squeeze this in. Yeah. It's only an hour, and then you have plenty of time to do whatever else you need you want to do on your on your vacation. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And here's Lewis with your pro tips. All right, guys. So here are your pro tips for caring for giants here at Animal Kingdom. I'd say number one is be sure to book your tour far in advance. As with many of those backstage tours, you're going to have a hard time finding any kind of walk up availability. So definitely make sure you give yourself a few months extra notice to be able to book those things early in advance. All right guys, and as far as timings go, currently they do have tours at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, one o'clock in the afternoon, two and three. I would probably recommend maybe one of those earlier tours. We did a one o'clock tour and I was told that the elephants may be a little bit more active in the, in the morning versus in the evenings. They're kind of getting ready to go back and get some, get baths and get fed and all that sort of thing. So earlier in the day is probably your better shot of seeing elephants. And pro tip number three is just manage your expectations. Like I mentioned, it is only a one hour tour, which could be good if you have little ones whose attention span may be a little bit shorter, um, but you don't think you're gonna spend all day with the elephants and everything. Uh, like I said, you do get to get um, into a special place where you can see them or from a view that nobody else gets to, uh, unless you book on this tour. 
but you're not going to get super close with them. You're not going to get to feed them or anything like that. So just kind of manage your expectations. And I think if you go into it with the right mindset, you'll have a great time. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for us today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what is your favorite animal in the African savanna. We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's super important. And we really appreciate that. It really helps us out. And with that being said, we are out of here and we'll see you next weekend. And here's those with the pro tips. No, say that again. All right. This camera's um. heavy. Oh, wait a second. You guys, with the tours here at Magic Kingdom, we are going backstage. We're not Magic Kingdom. Sorry. And then with that, there is. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. This is caring for giants, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. More elephant butts. Water, all of the other. <laughs>